guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Miss Afro back with another video. Um, today I'm going to be doing the ultimate Big Puff tutorial. And I know you guys have been asking me that this, well my friends have, because they're like, how do you get your puff so big? Da, da, da. Well, what I'm about to tell you, it's really simple, but there's a sort of a trick to it, because you have to, you not reveal too much and hop into the video, you know, but... Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the content. Um, so, for, um, for your products, you'll be needing a spray bottle, a slicking brush, shout out to Lewis, the slicking brush is bomb. Make sure it's this, the one with the hard bristles that can get it extra slick, you know. Edge brush or rat tail comb. Edge control, I'm just using Gorilla Snot. And some Eco Side Gel. Um, so, right now, I just got out of the shower, um, that's why my head's in a makeshift part with the shoelace just hanging there. I'm just going to start by taking this down. Um, I forgot to say that you will need the sho shoelace for your high path. But so my mirror is just to the side of me, so I'm going to be looking at that during the video because I don't really have a place to put it and I need a moment to see if it looks okay. But this is day... When did I do my hair Sunday? So just... Wow, five days this has lasted me. Um, this is day five twist out. Still very defined. Curls popping, you know, no worries. My hair texture is so weird, like here the curls don't really form and then at the back they're like four A curls and then the middle is like four B and then on the sides it's like four C, it's just a mixture of everything and I just have to work with it. So my hair looks different all over my head but I'm just going to get started. So firstly, um, what you need to do is spritz the end, um, not the ends, the edges of your hair. So I'm just going to take my spray bottle and just spray the sections. Don't add too much water, just enough so it's damp. That's done. And once you've done that, you want to get some Eco Styler Gel, decent amount, no dime size like these naturals I'm telling you, decent amount, rub that into your palms, focus it mainly on the back because that's what people are going to be seeing the most, but also put a bit at the front so like it gets it nice and slick. So then take your slicking brush and begin, begin slicking your hair back. Do it gently so you don't like ruin your hair too much. Because in, in my previous videos I was talking about like slick buns. The only reason why I don't like doing slick buns too much is because of my hair type. It does, it is a lot of manipulation to my hair. There's hair types so where it's not doesn't show that much manipulation so it's okay but with mine it is just gonna turn around so you can see the that oh I nearly broke my camera Shoelace. Okay, so um, then get your shoelace. Um, with this, I just got this for on Sports Direct, which was I got two for I think it was two pounds or something like that. So yeah, really affordable. If not, then just get a shoelace from one of your old trainers, or maybe they have it in Poundland or some or the dollar store in America or whatever. I don't know, but this is the key because you can get give the illusion of a big puff. 
rubber, whereas like hair bands, like once it's set, it's set. So you just pull it up and then keep pulling it till you get your desired look. Remember not to pull too tight because then you can say goodbye to your hairline, you know. So that's how it looks and then I'm going to just cross over. And then once you get to the back or the front or wherever you finish, you just tuck it in so um, people don't see the ends of the shoelace. Like so. And then you just fluff it out so you get your desired look. If you want to pick your hair, you can, but I don't usually. Today is looking a bit that but it's okay I can make it work you just pull it like so until you get a desired look as you can see it's already looking a bit bigger actually now it's time for the edges with that I'm literally just going to clip the front of my hair back because it hangs down quite low Hey, I'm glad you're back with your bitch. I mean, who would want to hide this? I will never, ever, 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 ever be your side chick. I put the same in the singles. Um, then you get your scarf, your scarf, your scarf, your scarf, and you lay down your edges. Again, don't tie it too tight because you get a headache and yeah, it just, that's just asking for it. There's an eyelash in my eye. Oh god. So this is how the puff looks. Um, leave the scarf on for about five to ten minutes, and then I'll come back and take it off. In the meantime, jam session. Thing 
to put in and just show you what, I got, what I'm doing but just pretend I have my headscarf when I'm doing it because I have a seminar soon so I can't record it again so yeah uh -oh. Uh -oh. love how this came out nice big puff my big puff tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah and you'll see my dancing i'll just do that in a separate clip because i still want to include it because i want to show you the full routine of how i do it the dancing is part of the routine because what you could be doing while you're waiting for edges to be laid i didn't really have anything to do so i was playing my music and that's what i usually do at uni now so I'll show you guys that but I hope you enjoyed the video remember to like comment and subscribe and see you in the next one bye